G'day, how's it going? It's Lazarus here, and today we're going to be talking about the top seven fish for a 55 gallon aquarium. Now, my cousins have a 55 gallon, and I've helped them stock it, and we've seen what works and what doesn't in those tanks. And so today we're going to be talking about seven fish that I'd highly recommend for your 55 gallon. So stick around to the end so you don't miss out on any of the important info and for all seven fish, and consider subscribing so I do weekly aquarium videos just like this. But without any further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so number seven, we have the rainbow fish. If you want to have lots of coloration and activity at the middle of your aquarium, rainbow fish are a great choice. They're also gonna hang out a lot at the top of the tank too. So they'll basically explore all over the tank. And if you do get a nice big bunch of these, you're gonna have a lot of action in your aquarium. If you're looking for really colorful fish, then these are great because there's so many different varieties you can get out there. They're also pretty easy to keep, but it all depends on what type you get. Something like the Bozeman eyes or dwarf neon rainbows do really great for beginners and just for your heavily planted aquarium. The mouths don't get too big too and they're pretty peaceful. They do get quite crazy at feeding time which is entertaining and they don't harm other fish. You don't want to have really slow moving fish with your rainbow fish. You want to have slightly faster fish that are going to be able to get to the food. You want to get a nice big group of these and what's cool about these fish is that you can mix the species so you have all sorts of different colors in the tank and that's why they're called the rainbow fish because you can find them in all colors of the rainbow. To so consider these fish and if you can find some really cool ones you can get a nice big group and they'll spread across your aquarium. Now number six on the list, we have the Rummy Nose Tetras. Now these are one of the best schooling fish. So if you get a really big group, I recommend you get at least 10 for your 55 gallon and they're gonna school around and stay in a tight school. So if you want some little Tetras with some really bright colors that get to a decent size, Rummy Nose Tetras are great. Literally when you introduce them straight into your aquarium, they're going to start exploring and they'll stay in a pack almost straight away. So they're really entertaining, super active and they get to about five to six centimeters. So they do get a bit bigger than something like your Neon Tetras. They're also really easy to find. It all depends where you are though and they are very easy to keep. You just need to have the room and since a 55 gallon is definitely big enough for some rummy nose, get 10 or more. I've seen people put hundreds in and there's a centerpiece tank right there. Are you getting into the hobby and you want to find something that's really cool and different from the rest? Well at number five we have the bristlenose catfish. They are really funky looking fish and when they're stuck on the glass it looks hilarious. So when you have a visitor coming and they look at the tank and see some bristlenose plecos sucking at the glass or objects in the tank, they'll find that really funny and entertaining to watch. They're great at getting rid of some of those algae that are on the surfaces of objects and the glass. So all that slimy green spot algae and that sort of thing they'll graze on once they're growing up. If you do have lots of algae on your glass that you want to get rid of with without having to do it all by yourself. Well, the bristlenose will help as long as you stop feeding your algae wafers. But here's the thing, you don't want bristlenose catfish to just be eating the algae. You're gonna need to feed them prepared foods like high carry algae wafers. These are vegetarians, which means they're just gonna eat veggie based stuff. They'll also love cucumber and any boiled veggie that sits in the bottom. Really cool fish, super common, easy to breed as well. If you do have a male and female by accident, you could have some breeding in your aquarium. Nothing much to it and a super fun, cool little fish. Okay, so next up we have the cherry barbs. Cherry barbs are a really vibrant fish and when you see them at the pet store, they do look pretty dull. But when you introduce them into your aquarium and they adjust to their new habitat, they look incredibly red and the males show better coloration than the females. They are a great beginner fish and they do love plenty of room to swim around. So since they do get to about six centimeters, there's long fin variants out there too. So you can choose which one suits your needs. They're great for planted aquariums. I don't recommend you have fish with long fins though with cherry barbs as they can be a bit fin nippy. So probably angelfish aren't a great choice to keep with cherry barbs but something like rainbow fish that are pretty fast and don't have big fins to be ripped they should be fine with the cherry barbs otherwise pretty easy fish to find as well can be pretty cheap if you get a nice big group they'll spread across the aquarium with lots of red coloration at number three, we have the angelfish. Now these are very easy to find and their body structure is very unique compared to any other aquarium fish you'll find out there. Angelfish can be pretty easy to keep, although they can be a bit aggressive. You're gonna wanna have them in groups and you might even get some pairing and breeding, but when you do have pairing and breeding, you will get very aggressive angelfish. So I recommend you have fish that are no smaller than four centimeters because these fish are gonna get pretty big, but the cool thing is 55 gallon aquariums are big enough for an angelfish. So with that said, since angelfish do get to to about 15 centimeters long and about 20 centimeters tall at full size. But angelfish make a great addition to your planted 55 gallon aquarium. They're really easy to find and lots of variety to choose from. 
What if you don't want a planted aquarium? What if you want to go for something that's rocky with some sand at the bottom? Well, here's a great choice and a great idea for your tank. How about try some African cichlids? They got lots of personality and there's lots of different types to choose from. Plus, you'll be able to find at least a few types at your local fish store. You can get peacock cichlids, yellow labs, there's Mbuna cichlids, and all those African cichlids that are pretty colorful and the Mbunas are also a really great one to keep together as a community. Make sure if you do have an African cichlid aquarium that you have lots of different territories for those fish to make because if you have a group of cichlids and a group of the same kind they're probably going to pair off and if they do the males will be very territorial so if you have different areas that you can mark out along the bottom of the tank then they're not going to be able to fight over the one whole area of the tank which is going to be their territory instead they can divide up those areas and come up with their own territories overall you've got to do more specific research if you do want to consider getting african cichlids and make sure that the ones you want to mix together are compatible there's lots of videos out there to watch too so i've kept an electric yellow cichlid before also known as a lab cichlid and the group of African cichlids are just amazing and super fun and a 55 gallon can give you lots of room to have choice and keep variety. Now I've kept sawtails for years now and they are a very cool fish. The reason why they make it on the list for my favorite 55 gallon stocking ideas is that usually a sawtail gets too big for something like a 20 gallon. You'll ensure you'll have plenty of room in a 55 gallon since their tail does make them look a lot longer than they actually are. They still need plenty of room to swish around the fins and breed too. So if you do get a male and female, you will expect breeding within the next few months. But if you don't want an explosion of baby sawtails in your tank, then just get one gender. Both male and females do look really great. It's not like endless guppies where the females are dull and the males are the colorful ones. Just double check when you're getting your fish from the fish store if you're trying to get one gender that you're getting the exact same gender because sometimes they'll label sawtails under the wrong genders and you can pick up a male and female and accidentally get some breeding. They're not that aggressive although you can find some males that do get quite fin nippy. Other than that sawtails are really easy to find and there's lots of different colors and variations you can get out there and they're a very close relative to the guppies, mollies and platties. A 55 gallon will get plenty of room for your sawtails and your sawtails will pop out in the aquarium with splashes of color. I can see why I'd recommend a 55 gallon for any beginner because you have lots of variety and choice and lots of room to get all sorts of different fish that you want to try out. So I hope you did enjoy the video and found these seven fish to your liking. If you did enjoy the video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this but have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.